Well, it is graduation day in D.C., but this one is different. Yeah, they're throwing their hats because these graduates are receiving their diplomas behind bars. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford with what the second chance means for them. In cap and gown, they walked into the applause of other D.C. jail inmates, three who had completed their GED, one his two-year college degree online from Ashland University, Ohio. They delivered it in person. Has successfully met all the requirements for his degree. Today I feel like I've just made the first step because I still have to attain my bachelor's. Many others were getting certificates for completing courses from D.C. public schools or universities like Howard, Georgetown, American, and UDC. We have industries that come in, do interviews here so that our people leave here with the job. And um, all of that has come from just um, amazing partners in D.C. They brought students up for encouraging words. Failure is not a person. It's an event. Learn from it. Don't wallow in it. If there was opportunity where at 14 years old, people came to us and told us some of the things that we did well, instead of some of the things that we did bad, I feel like a lot of us wouldn't be here. The director of the corrections department was there, even the mayor. We are a city of second chances, third chances, and fourth chances if you need them. The GED grads took advantage of this second chance. Man, I feel ecstatic, man. It's like a major goal, accomplishment I just achieved. Now I feel complete. I'm very good. I'm very, very good. Well, obviously, jail is a negative place, and I'm happy to be leaving here in a few minutes. But for a time today, it was a place of smiles and hope and positive energy for people who certainly need it. Reporting from Southeast Washington, I'm Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. All right, Sam, thank you.